Morning friends, Cozy Chris here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a different direction in our personal protective equipment and we're going to be taking a look at uh, some holsters uh, that are Coasty Chris approved as well as some uh, magazine holders. And with all the craziness going on, I decided to go ahead and start in this direction because a lot of people are considering buying a firearm for the first time as a, a means of protection uh, or they're considering getting different firearms than they have in the past. And so I wanted to uh, do a video for my audience uh, who is into to firearms and, and realizes that they could be a, a incredible asset that could save your life. So if you're not uh, you know, a supporter of the Second Amendment, uh, I highly recommend that you, you consider becoming a supporter of the Second Amendment. And um, that doesn't mean that you have to own a firearm or anything. And I don't want to get too political on this channel. I just want to keep it, uh, keep it gear related. But that's why I, I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment. And uh, that's why I'm going to be reviewing some of these, this gear that is essential if you're going to purchase a firearm. You can't just purchase the firearm itself and stick it in your pants and then you're ready to go. You really need to be a responsible gun owner and buy the equipment that's going to keep you and everyone else around you safe. Uh, so that it can be a personal protective tool rather than a liability. So, starting with the Black Hawk uh, CQC, Close Quarter Combat uh, holster here. It's a paddle holster, uh, which means it has this uh, in the waist uh, paddle that helps keep it stable on your waist. And what I love about this is that you can adjust the direction in which your holster and, and in which your pistol will uh, fit the holster. And this fits a lot of different kinds of pistols. Uh, so it does have a, a locking mechanism here so that if somebody comes up next to you, they can't just grab your uh, firearm right out of your holster. They have to specifically push this lock down and they're not gonna be thinking to do that because they're, they're not that intelligent. Obviously, they're trying to steal your firearm. And uh, they're probably not gonna be trained and have practiced to know that this lock is gonna be there. So it's important for you to train and know how to use your holster. And this is a, this is a safety mechanism to help prevent you. If you're in a situation where uh, you need a pistol, it's gonna be chaotic. And you may have fallen down and you don't want your pistol um, flying out of your pants or anything. And this lock will help keep it in place. And you're gonna love that it's there but you're also gonna need to train to be able to pull your firearm out quickly. So here on the back, you can see how it adjusts. You have these two screws here and you can place them any which way uh, to change the uh, angle in which your holster sits in your pants. Um, so one thing that you should know is it has a hook down here at the bottom, right down there, and these hooks as well. These hook onto your belt and then this hooks onto the sort of the, the bottom seam of the, the top of your pants there. Uh, so it, it, it's not the most stable. This isn't a duty holster. Uh, this is purely civilian um, holster. If, if you feel like you need a pistol to be uh, safer in an environment, um, but you don't have a whole rig belt ready to go, a battle belt, uh, this is a great option because you can just slide it quickly and I'll show you in a second You can just slide it quickly into your pants But it's a pain getting it out because of those hooks just so you know it That's what it's designed to do It's designed to keep it in your pants and then when you're in a situation when that situation has calmed down and you're in an environment that uh, That you feel comfortable disarming yourself It's gonna take some fiddling. I prefer to take my pants off to get this off once I put it in um, but it's easy to put in in the first place. So that's the holster. And uh, depending on the firearm that you insert in your holster, depends on how many bullets you're gonna be able to have. I often pair it with uh, just a double magazine. You can do have a single magazine. I prefer the double uh, just because if I'm in an environment where I feel like I'm gonna need a pistol, I wanna have as many rounds as possible uh, because Adrenaline kicks in and you hear all these stories of uh, people who are trained with firearms shooting seven times uh, until they hear click and they can't shoot anymore. And we judge them harshly because, wow, they should have had more discipline. If you've never been in a situation where you have uh, 
somebody trying to kill you and your life is on the line, you don't realize that uh, <laughs> nerves kick in and, and you just keep shooting because you're scared um, or because the situation demands it. So it's always good to have um, extra magazines and I highly recommend you have at least one. Uh, one is a little bit more concealable than this. These, uh, as we'll see in a second, aren't the most concealable. Um, but what I, what I like about this is that there's an adjustable tension right here. Uh, so when you get this out of the box, this is another Black Hawk uh, close quarter combat uh, double magazine well, and, or holster. And when you get it out of the box, your magazines are gonna slip in and out of that like, uh, like nothing, uh, like a hot knife through butter, let's say that. So you're gonna want to uh, adjust that tension right there so that your um, whatever magazine that you have that'll fit in here, uh, and the link will be in the description for all of these below, and then you should check and make sure that it's gonna fit your holster or it's gonna fit your magazine. Uh, so make sure to adjust that tension so that it, it keeps it nice and tight. This is a little flexible. This one only has one hook down here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it also points up. So it's gonna be easy to slide down and insert uh, into, the, uh, into your, your waist, but it's gonna be really hard to get out, especially this one. For some reason, this hook is really deep and it's tough to get out. You can adjust how high it's gonna be on your waist and that's one of the reasons I love this one uh, from Blackhawk, which makes great quality gear. Uh, also not a sponsor, but please consider Blackhawk becoming my sponsor. And that's one of the things I love about this is it's so adjustable. All their items, their close quarter combat items are adjustable. So let's take a look at what this looks like uh, on me. All right, so I, I didn't videotape it because I do have a 15 uh, minute limit on iMovie uh, to be able to upload to YouTube. And so I wanted to cut out as much as I could, but uh, it took me about, I'd say, 20 seconds to, to get rigged up here. And as you can see, this is just a normal belt from Target. Um, and you don't need a huge battle belt when you're, you're being so light. So the rule of thumb is an ounce on your waist is like a pound on your shoulders. So you're gonna wanna minimize if this is just gonna be your uh, regular everyday carry or if you're uh, in a situation where you just feel more protected having a firearm, uh, you're gonna wanna minimize the weight that you have on your hips unless you have a battle belt or something that's designed to help disperse that weight a little more. So you can see, you know, again, as I've said in other videos, I'm not the biggest guy, but this, I have a full-sized um, Smith & Wesson M&P 9, and you can see here, it's not too bad. It's, uh, I, again, I'm not uh, looking necessarily for uh, concealed with this. Um, it's an out of the waist holster. It's just, it's very comfortable. I hardly notice it's there. I have another two magazines. So on me, I have about uh, 50 rounds. This, I've, it's been cleared. I don't even have a, a magazine in it just to be safe. But this is my, uh, my preferred configuration. If I'm at the range and I'm just, I'm practicing, I'm, I'm maintaining and honing my skills, um, this is just very comfortable for me and it gives me a just a good posture that I'm comfortable with and I automatically get into a nice shooter stance uh, here as as I pull my my dominant hand back it puts my body in a good shooter stance we'll go into that a little bit more later and uh, there may be critiques out there about my shooter stance that's that's fine too uh, but just so you can tell, it's, it's fairly comfortable and it's fairly sturdy as well. Um, so just to give you a, an idea of what this looks like on somebody. And for concealment purposes, here I have a, a jacket. It's the summertime. I didn't, I didn't bring to my, my friend's place, uh, who I'm house sitting for, uh, big jacket because uh, it's it's summer but I did have a business uh, sort of sport coat jacket for some zoom meetings and as you can tell you would you really never know it's it sticks out a little bit here and here but unless you're trained to, to look for that and to know you're not really gonna know that I'm armed right now especially if I just casually put my arms down 
my, my front profile here, it's not going to look any different. It may be a little tighter around the waist, but if I have a looser uh, sort of coat, especially in the winter uh, here up in Wisconsin, it gets, uh, it gets pretty darn cold. And so you can put on all, all sorts of layers. So, it, and even if I let it loose like this, you're not going to know. So it's, it is concealable. Uh, it's just, it's, there's many more options uh, for concealable holsters, but this one, it's, I highly recommend it. It's a good introductory uh, holster. It's very affordable as, as you'll see if you follow the link in the description. And I hope you all feel safer with a firearm. Please be responsible gun owners, uh, train with it and know how to use it so that you can keep yourself, yourself safe and the ones that you love and care about safe, uh, especially in these, these crazy times. Again, I don't, I don't promote violence at all. I just want to help people feel safe, be safe, and uh, with these crazy times, uh, knowledge is power. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helpful for you. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing, leaving a comment down below, and uh, yeah, stay safe and have a good day. Coast to Chris out.